I'm now at Queen Hill, Chambery Cairn, for the second time today. Uh, it's a long story, I didn't go inside, I've still to go inside. I'll do the usual and try and scan this quickly so you can pause and read it if you'd like to. There's currently no one else here. Right, I'm going to head straight inside because once again I'm not sure how much memory I've got left on this memory card. Uh, like I said, I've not been inside yet, so this is all new to me. I've opened the gate but not been inside. Head torch on because it does look quite dark inside here. Here's my head torch on. Yep, and it's not very bright. Oh, this is quite a long creep, passageway, whatever you want to call it. Oh. Not easy on your knees. Oh wow, this stonework looks fantastic. Oh, I'm going to have to go on my elbows. Um. Wow. Oh. Oh yeah, room to stand easily. One of the chambers over there as you can see. Another chamber there. One straight in front of me. And one off to that side. Now I'm going to check out this left hand chamber first. Oh, it's a lot drier in here than it is in Woodford. I'm going to do this on my bum, rather than my elbows. Oh, bang my head again, that's been the story of my week. The roof. Oh, this is, this is proper walling. Wow. I realise you're not going to get much from this video. Looking back down to the entrance, it's about six foot six inside this chamber. So loads of room to stand. Looking back out. Let's head back out. Oh, I'm trying to find the easiest way to do this. Oh, it is wet inside here. God, this is cumbersome. Ah, oh, no. Looking back down the entrance. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as Unstun and uh, Whitford. That's an oddity. Step, you can see that is like a step up into the chamber. This one looks quite a bit easier to get into. Yeah, much easier. Oh wow. Aha, there's a chamber within the chamber. Oh, that's strange. I can stand up, yeah, plenty of standing room. Just don't want to crack my head. Yeah, there's the roof in a it's big slabs. I probably should have brought my lantern in here actually and see if that lit it up any better. Oh, well, this is crazy. I've never known that. Not that I've been in many chambered tombs. Oh, let's get inside it. Get over the, what would you call them, threshold stones. No idea if that's the correct term. Uh, no standing room in this one. It's about four, four and a half feet high. But how unusual that there's a chamber in a chamber. I thought I'd down a piece of flint then. No, just local stone. 
squeeze back out of this one. This is cool. Yeah, I don't know what you'd call those, what the correct technical term is, but who cares. Oh, lots of grunting and heavy breathing to get in and out of this one. I have to change hands with my phone. Well, I love that style, a chamber with a chamber. There's the chamber leading into a chamber leading into a chamber. Right back out into the main vault chamber, whatever you want to call it. So I've already been in that one to the left, the centre one there, let's have a look at this one to the right. Oh this looks like a difficult one to get into. This ain't going to be easy. It's got the, uh, I don't know, I'm just going to call it like a threshold stone. Somebody feel free to correct me. This is going to be difficult. Uh, do I roll the phone? Well, yeah it is, I think this. Just about standing room. I realise you don't see much on this as I've already said, but I'm going to do the video as a little memento for myself. And feel free to comment as you will, whether I'm getting the terms wrong or if I'm missing something or... Oh, wet arse time. Yeah, no, I'm, I don't think you can quite stand up in this one. Probably about five feet high. Uh, let me get my feet over. Oh, can I stand up, baby? No, just having to sort of bend over a bit. Yeah, if it were about five inches taller, I'd be able to stand. So that's looking back out, and uh, I wish I knew the correct name for these. I'm calling threshold stones. I'm looking back out into the main chamber. Across to the other chamber there. And the central chamber. Right, that's going to be even harder to get out of. Oh, God, they don't make it easy. What are you already thinking? Oh, shit. That's the most difficult one I've ever been in. I thought the Woodford ones were difficult. And that's this is the last remaining chamber that I've not been in. Let's have a look. And once again, sort of like a little step over into the chamber. Oh. Oh, another difficult one. Well, let's squeeze his way in. Uh, mucky elbows, mucky ass. God, this one's tiny. Ah, this is about five feet tall as well. I'm not going to be able to stand in here. I'm not even going to try. Awesome stonework. Oh, I've got some creepy crawling down my arm. Oh god, hold on. Get out. You can see, I don't know if you can see the floor, it's quite damp. Initially looks dry. Looking back out across to that one of the other chambers that would have step up. Outside, because that's got like a, two steps up into the chamber and the others have got these uh, God, what do you call them? Threshold stones, I don't know. Right, uh, do I go feet first or head first? Getting back out. I think I'm going to go head first. <sighs> oh, back into the main chamber. Oh, this is fantastic. 
All these tombs I've visited uh, on Orkney have been, to be honest. There's nothing like this around Derbyshire where I usually hang about. Even though I'm from Sheffield, obviously Derbyshire's my... Where all the sites are I usually visit. This is awesome. And I'm not seeing any graffiti, to be honest. And this one's quite easy to access from the road, unlike Whitford. I've had an absolute nightmare getting there and back. It's been absolute twat of a day. But totally worth it. Right, I'm going to head back out because we're now on 10, nearly 11 minutes. Creep back out. Don't get blinded by the sunlight. I'm going on my arse this time. Rather than my elbows, because my elbows are battered. And straight across, if you can see the hill, that's where Whitford Chambered Cairn is, where I've just come from. And the view from here, ah, oh, yeah, shit, I've smashed my head again. The view from here is just absolutely awesome. Look at that. Right, I'm going to leave it at that. Bye.